Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this logic circuit, and in this circuit, the stage signal is applied as an input. So here, we have been given that all the gates in the logic circuit have identical non-zero delay. So initially, the stage signal is low, and at time t is equal to zero, the stage signal goes from the logic low to the logic high, and then after it remains in the same state. So here. We have been asked to find the output of this logic circuit. So let us see that. So here we have been given that initially the stage signal is the logic low, and then after it becomes high, and it remains in the same state. So here, let's say the propagation delay of the each logic gate is equal to T P. So as you can see over here, as soon as the stage signal is applied, then one of the input to the NAND gate will change immediately. But if you see the second input. Then it is applied through the three NOT gates. So due to the propagation delay of these three NOT gates, the second input will appear after some delay, and because of that, we will see the change in the output of this NAND gate. So to find out how this output of the NAND gate changes, first let us see the timing diagram. So here we have been given that initially the stage signal is low, and at time t is equal to zero, it becomes high, and then after it remains as it is. So this stage signal will be the one of the input to this NAND gate. So let's say the second input to the NAND gate is equal to X. So as you can see over here, this stage signal is passing through the three NOT gates. That means if you see the second input X, then it is equal to test bar, or in other words, it will be the invert of this test signal. That means whenever this test signal is low, then this X will become high, and vice versa. When the test signal is high. Then this X input will become low, but here due to the finite propagation delay, this X input will change after the three gate delays, or in this case, that is equal to three TP. So before the time t is equal to zero, when the test input is zero, then this X input will become one. So here we are assuming that since a long time, this test signal is equal to low. It means that the input to the NAND gate as well as the output of the NAND gate is already stabilized. So before the time t is equal to zero, if you see, then the x input will be equal to one, and at time t is equal to zero, and the x input changes, then that change in the test signal will appear at this x input after the three gate delays. So up to the three gate delays, this x input will remain high, and then after it will become low. That means if you see the x input, then this is how it will look like. So based on these two inputs, we can easily find the output signal. So initially. When the test input is zero, then the output will be equal to one, because as you know, for the NAND gate, when any one of the input is zero, then its output will be equal to one. That means before the time t is equal to zero, this output will remain high. Now at time t is equal to zero, if you see, then this test signal will become high, and at that time, this X signal is already equal to high. So now both the inputs of the NAND gate is equal to high, and therefore its output will become low. But as you can see over here, this NAND gate can respond to the inputs after this propagation delay. That means here the output of the NAND gate will become low after the one gate delay. So now up to this three TP time, both the signal as well as the X signal is equal to high. That means up to this time, the output of this NAND gate should remain low. And then after, when the X input becomes low, then once again this NAND gate output will become high. But once again. This NAND gate will respond to the change in the X input after the one gate delay, and after this one gate delay, once again, this output of the NAND gate will become high, because like I said earlier, for the NAND gate, and one of the input is low, then its output will become high, and then after, since the X input remains low, so this output of the NAND gate will remain high. So as you can see over here, initially, the output of the NAND gate was high, and then after it becomes low. And after the three gate delay, once again it becomes high. So we can say that the output of this NAND gate pulses from the logic high to the logic low to the logic high. And therefore, for the given question, this D is the correct answer. So similarly, now let us see the second question. So this question is also related to the propagation delay of the logic gates. So in this question, we have been given this logic circuit, and in this circuit. The switch was momentarily closed, and then after it was once again opened. So here, in the steady-state condition, 
we have been asked to find the logic states of this x and y. So once again, here we have been given that all the logic gates have the equal and the non-zero delay. That means here, all the phi not gates have the equal delay. So here, we have been given that momentarily, the switch was closed and then after it was once again opened. And based on that, we have been asked to find the logic states of this x and y. So let us see that. So whenever the switch is closed, then this logic 1 input will appear over here. And because of that, the output of this first NOT gate will become 0. So after a moment, once again, when the switch is opened, then also this output will remain 0. And the same will appear at this X node. That means this X output is equal to 0. So as you can see, this X output is passing through the three NOT gates. So once again, let's say, the propagation delay of the each logic gate is equal to Tp. That means after the three gate delays, this y output will become 1. Because here, this x input is passing through the three NOT gates. That means if the x input is 0, then this y output will become 1. That means here, after the three gate delays, this y output will become 1. And once again, now this y output will pass through the two gate delays. So here, since we have a two NOT gates, so the output of these two NOT gates will be same as the Y input. So here, since the Y output is equal to 1, so the same will appear over here. That means after the two more propagation delays, this X output will also become 1. That means now, this X output is equal to 1. And once again, this output will pass through the three gate delays. And after the three gate delays, now this Y output will become 0. So once again, when the zero output passes through these two gate delays, then this x output will become zero. And whenever this x output passes through the three gate delays, then once again, this y output will toggle. And now it will become one. So as you can see over here, after closing the switch momentarily, once we open the switch, then the logic state of this x and y is continuously toggling between the zero and one. So from this we can say that for the given circuit, the logic state of the x and y will continuously change between the 0 and 1. And therefore, for the given question, this D is the correct answer.